Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, something a little different today. I find myself in a situation where I'm gonna have to try to buddy box with somebody. If you don't know what buddy box is, it's where you basically have two transmitters, you have the student on one, you have the instructor on another, and you pass control to the student through the trainer's radio. So, I, and I also remembered that um, the new uh, FR Sky X9 Lite S has a wireless, like a Bluetooth, trainer instead of having to run a three and a half millimeter uh, headphone double-ended cable between both radios uh, this does this wirelessly and I've never set up a buddy box system it seems pretty easy uh, but there's a few little gotchas when you try using the wireless system so here's how we're gonna set that up okay so I have two X9 Lite S's these both have the wireless trainer function on it and we're going to deal with how to set up the trainer. So, fire both these radios up. Welcome to FTX. That sounded really weird to me. <laughs> Throttle warning. All right. First thing we need to do is create a new model or take your existing model on your uh, trainer radio. This is it's gonna be the one that I'm gonna be using. So, we're gonna go into the menu and go to your radio setup. I'm gonna use an existing model, and what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to scroll to the bottom here, and instead of doing master jack, this is if you were to use a three and a half millimeter uh, headphone cable, uh, mono headphone cable, we're going to scroll over to master BT. And a new menu is gonna come up here, it's gonna say discover. All right, so we're gonna hit discover. and a bunch of weird numbers come up. This is looking for a Bluetooth ID from the student radio. Take your student radio, and I already set up a model. This is gonna be pretty generic. There's really gonna be no uh, switches assigned to it. And we're gonna come over here to mode uh, for the trainer. And we're gonna go to slave Bluetooth. And uh, make sure your channel range matches that of your uh, trainer radio. Now, it doesn't help us at all, at all figure out what number on that uh, trainer radio we need. So we're gonna go and we're gonna exit out. We're gonna long hold the menu and we're gonna hit page until we get to our hardware menu. Scroll down the hardware menu and right here where it says Bluetooth trainer, there's local address, so it's 1804. I'm going to find this one, 1804, and we're going to select that one. And you'll see instantly that came up. That's the number of the trainer radio. So now these two are actually talking together, and we are almost done here. Next thing we need to do is we need to set up a, a way to hand off control to the trainee. Uh, for this, I'm going to use one of the momentary buttons on the top. We're going to page over to special functions. Go ahead and click the wheel and then uh, hit the button or the switch you're gonna use to hand over control to your student. I'm gonna hold down the, the momentary button and it's switch SF and the down button is gonna be highlighted. Now if I let go, it's gonna go back up. So I need to hold it down while I click the wheel. And there we go. So we have SF should be bold when I have it active. That's when I want the student to have control. All right, so we got that. Next, we need to scroll over, and where it says over, we need to change that to trainer. And we want to only hand over sticks, not switches, at least in this setup that I'm doing. And you're going to want to make sure you put the check in that box. Now, if you wanted to hand over sticks and switches, uh, you can certainly do all that. You would do just do uh, chans, so channels. But uh, I'm just going to do sticks. It's going to be pretty easy here. All right, so now I'm gonna back out of there. Hold, long hold the menu button, and we're gonna scroll over to our trainer mode, our trainer page, and this should match the output that you have set up on the trainees radio. I have T A E R one two three as channel one two three four. I have it set up the same way on the students radio. So now we should be able to see down here that channel one, T is throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder. 
So those are all matching up just right. And if you're not 100% sure if they're gonna be right, uh, you can also go into your model and go to the outputs tab and you can see, look, throttle's not doing anything, but if I hold the button that hands the control over to the trainee, you can see it's moving. Also, you could also go to your main page here. See, nothing's happening. I hold my, my control button. There we go. And if I let go, student's radio has no effect on the instructor radio. And that's it, that's pretty darn easy to do. Uh, this is gonna be a really easy way to get somebody up in the air. Takeoff and landing is typically the hardest part for people. And once they get up in the air and you don't have to work, you get them into an area where it's nice and clear, they have plenty of space above them, below them, and to the sides, you can hold your button down and it'll give that person control. They can fly it around if they get all hairy and out of whack. You can let go of the button and boom, you're back on the sticks. Uh, you can set up your modes on your trainer radio. So if you want to just put it in stable mode versus uh, acro, you can also do that too. You can make it so the trainee has switch control, but in this case, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for me. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm still gonna have to arm and disarm. The only thing they're gonna be able to do is wiggle the sticks and control the quad that way. That's it, pretty simple. Uh, I know this is the most in-depth tutorial on how to set up a trainer. The big thing I wanted to show you here was how to do the wireless trainer part of it. Josh Bardwell, Andy RC, they all have very good tutorials on how to set up a trainer. Um, it's something we don't really do very often in the FPV world. We usually just let you go out there and have at it, break all your, uh, all your uh, and there's no need for that. If you can get someone who's competent, that has one of the wireless radios, and even if you don't have a wireless radio, you can still use the, uh, Use the trainer jack in the bottom of the radio. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. All right, folks. Well, I hope you like this little uh, inside to how to set up the trainer with the wireless Bluetooth system in the newer FR Sky Access radios. Again, I'm going to state on record this is probably the best radio on the market for FPV. It doesn't do everything the way it is, but it can do everything. And that's something that uh, other companies can't say. All right, folks. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave the, uh, the comments down in the uh, comment doobly-doo down there. If you want to support me, head over to tweetfpv.com and you'll find other ways you can support me between Patreon, Discord, and the affiliate links. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this and stay safe. Keep flying. Help somebody out. Help them learn how to fly. All right, bye.